with Illinois. The Fighting Illini just hired Brett Bielema. I think it was a smart smart hire. Yeah, it's a great hire. It's a I mean, great it's, hire. Get, you get a guy that understands not only the Big Ten, but understands that division. Knows how to win. Knows what it takes to get there. Uh, I mean, this is it's going to be a multi-year rebuild. Oh, yeah. No, no he's like, not going to come in and, and, and work magic. He, he, he runs, unless he has drastically changed his college football uh, – Philosophy. Philosophy is the word I was looking for. <laughs> Philosophy. The the way he sees the game, um, what he does is build from the offensive line and run the football down people's throats and control time of scrimmage, line, line of scrimmage, time of time of play, and uh, that takes three, four, sometimes five years to build to to get that level of offensive line play and continuity going. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be time. I think Illinois will give him the time. This is not a school that cares about winning right now. And I do think he's a good enough coach to where, no matter what, I think I think in three years, going to a bowl game is not going to be a big deal for them. I, no, I think, I, I think I he's going to do that. It's entirely possible that they could find a way to a bowl game even this season. Like, oh, I'm not, yeah. You know, the, the schedule right. is difficult. But uh, it, now what we talked about with the offense, for sure, uh, the offense wants big offensive linemen. They want a power run game, mostly twelve personnel, and that fits the current roster. I was like about to say they're set up for that. I don't; those guys aren't the quality and caliber that he is used to coaching. Correct at that position, but that's how they are constituted right now, anyway, as a football yes. program. Yes, I think so. Uh, offensive coordinator is Tony Peterson, uh, veteran offensive coordinator. Like I think he'll fit in perfectly I, here. I think, I think so. he nailed the staff hires. Like a defensive coordinator, Ryan uh, Walters, like. Came over from Missouri, and he's going to be a head coach eventually. He's a young guy, but, you know, hybrid defense. Um, they're going to be interesting. Like, they, he kind of plays positionless defense. Yes. The the thing that I like about what Brett's done is, like, he's he's kind of been recruiting at Illinois, something that hasn't happened in a long very time. long time. Oh, yeah. I like, mean, that, going he, out and trying to get real athletes – to get excited about coming yes. to the State School of Illinois. Yes. Yes, 100%. Uh, he brought in transfer. I mean, Lovey Smith brought in a ton of transfers. Mm-hmm. It, Brett has brought in some as well. Uh, we look at the the win total here, three and a half to go over is minus 145. To go under is plus 115. Uh, FPI rank sits at 87 here. Uh, the SP Plus is being updated in you know this week at some point. So I didn't even put it down here. They went two and six last year, six and seven the year before that. Uh, to win the division, they are plus four thousand. To win the conference, they are dead last, plus yeah. ten thousand. That's right. Uh, as far as the win total, though, like I, I could totally see them going over. I think it is much more likely in this first year. I've got them going under. I like the plus juice there, plus one fifteen, because I think it's going to take one season to kind of get acclimated to what. To, to how Brett does it, as opposed to the way that Levy Smith did it. I'd like to see him go over. This would be a, a scare play for me. The I like the overplay based on the number, but I'm not laying 145. Agreed. To On, on a play that I, I don't love, you're right. If you play this, you have to play the under or walk away. The, the I just only, don't think you can have confidence. Now, they get... Two good cross rivals in their East opponents, which is Rutgers and Maryland. It doesn't get better than that, okay? No, 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 no. Absolutely. Like, like you couldn't ask for I, – I guess maybe those teams could be better than Michigan State. But – Maybe. You know, but I, I think I think at the end of the day, all three of those schools, you put them in a hat, and if you're the West, you want two of them. The <laughs> now, only, if you can get all three of them – I will tell that, you this. That's, that's a trifecta. The, I don't know that that happened. The only guaranteed win that I see on the schedule is Charlotte. Uh, uh, but you you like you like uh, UT San Antonio, UT San Antonio yeah. way more than I do. Like yeah. I I think Brett is a better coach. I think they're gonna have better athletes. Uh, like I I see that as a win as well. And it's entirely possible. I, I also see them being able to upset somebody because it's something Illinois has done historically, and it's something Brett has done historically as a coach beating someone you're not supposed to beat. Do you going over? No, no, no. Once again, I told you, you, the play has to, because of the price, yes. the play has to be under or walk away. Yeah, I and think so. I just want to make it clear, that's a price decision, not a 
I think the number's right on. Yeah. Which is what I which yeah, is right what at I three really and a half. Think. You can I totally see I, three or four. There's there's no world where I see them winning five of these games, and there's no world where I see them winning two of these games. You like might, I, I think you're right. That's I think you're right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.